the night prayers, two rak'at the shafa'at prayers, and one rak'at the watr prayers. On 112 occasions in 45 surahs, the Holy Quran talks about salat, the prayers, and 17 verses talk specifically about the nocturnal prayers. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَاسْجُدْ لَهُ وَسَبِّحْهُ لَيْلًا طَوِيلًا And during part of the night, adore him and glorify him a long part of the night. Among the nawafil, the recommended prayers, the night prayers have a special place in the verses of Qur'an and the sayings of Ahlul Bayt alayhimussalam. For this reason, the Allah gave a lot of importance and continuity to this nocturnal worship. So much so that the Almighty Allah had made it obligatory on his beloved servant Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَهَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِلَةً لَكَ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَثَكَ رَبُّكَ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا and keep vigil for a part of the night as a desired devotion for you. It may be that your Lord will raise you to a praiseworthy station. What is the praised station? Mufassirin say it is the rank of Shifaat, the intercession, as it was confirmed by Imam Baqir and Sadiq alayhim as as he is Shifaat. It is the Shafa'at. It is that rank the nearest to the Almighty God and the grand intercession is part of it. Although the applicable of this verse is the Prophet ﷺ, but by generalizing the verse, every faithful is being addressed by abiding by the teachings of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, Recitation of the Holy Quran and the night prayers, everyone can get a share of interceding and helping out those in need from the lower group. The Holy Prophet ﷺ applied this spiritual program on the Muslims to educate them, and after a while they found themselves as different people, strong, faithful, pure, sincere. Maybe the praise station in the verse points out at this outcome. Quran recognizes those who keep up at night in worship as Wal Mustaghfirina bil Ashar and those who ask forgiveness in the morning times Walladina Yabituna Lirabbihim Sujadan Wakiyama and those who pass the night in sajda before their Lord and in standing. On many occasions the glorious book swears at the nights. All these oaths are signs of the greatness of the end of the night, the times when darkness gradually vanishes and the light returns. In Surah Al-Muzzammil the Almighty says, Ya ayyuhal muzzammil qum al-layla illa qaleela نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا O you who have wrapped up in your garments rise to pray in the night a little half of it or lessen in it a little or add to it and recite the Quran as it ought to be recited surely we will notify you of a weighty word Further says, إِنَّ نَاشَأَةَ اللَّيْلِ هِيَ أَشَدُّ وَطَأً وَأَقْوَ مُقِيلًا Surely the rising by the night is the firmest way to tread and best corrective of speech. And the reason for this worship is mentioned in the next verse as, إِنَّ لَكَ فِي النَّهَارِ سَبْحًا طَوِيلًا Surely you have in the daytime a long occupation. Indeed, this time and this worship revives one's heart and purifies one's soul. وَهُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ لِبَاسًا 
And he it is who made the night a covering for you, and the sleep a rest, and he made the day to rise up again. The word Layl meaning night has been revealed more than 20 times in the Holy Quran. And in the recited verse mentions the benefits of the night, its favors and the blessings of the Almighty Allah bestowed therein. The night has been created by the divine wisdom for the mankind. It has been made a cover and this is possible only by the might and the mercy of the Lord who is the All-Wise. The mighty Quran was revealed in the night Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr Mi'raj, the ascension of the Holy Prophet was at night Subhanallah asra ba'abdihi laylan. Glory be to him who made his servant go on a night. Quran has a chapter called Al Layl, wherein the Almighty swears at the night. Wallayl idha yagsha. I swear by the night when it draws a veil. It is in this and by this night many of the noble mystics by worship recitation of Qur'an and pondering into the grand creation of Allah have arrived at the lofty ranks. They have sought access to a table laid with every spiritual provision and through these means they have sought all their moral and material needs. The Almighty in the Holy Book says, Surely the muttaqeen shall be in gardens and fountains, taking what their Lord gives them. Surely they were before that the doers of good. And the reason for that is mentioned as Kanu Qalilan min al ma yahjaun wa bil ashari hum yastaghfirun. They used to sleep but little in the night, and in the morning they asked for forgiveness. Another aspect of this night and supplicating in it is its connection with the concept of rizq, the sustenance, an outlet of which is opened for the believers, that your sustenance is in the skies, not anybody else. And this will be provided by Allah, the All-Wise, and that too is based on your ability. وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْقُكُمْ And in the sky is your sustenance. Remember 8-2-1 One of the issues every Muslim must look into Keep up at night tahajjul Supplicate before Fajr Regarding the importance of Salatul Layl The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam says The best among you is one whose speech is good Feeds others and prays at night when people are asleep there is no good deed but that its reward has been mentioned in Qur'an except the night prayers. As Allah has not mentioned its reward because of its greatness and has said فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنْ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ So no soul knows what is hidden for them of that which will refresh the eyes a reward for what they did. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says, Ashrafu ummati hamalatul Qur'an wa ashabul layl The most noble of my nation are the carriers of Qur'an and the companions of the night. And elsewhere says, A turak at prayer in the night is better than the world and all that is in it. Sharaful Mu'min Salatuhu Bin Layl. The honor of a believer is by the night prayers. In a hadith al Qudsi, the Almighty Allah says, One who claims to love me has indeed lied if he sleeps at night. Does every lover not love to have a private time with his beloved? Furthermore, he says, 
قیام الرجل فی جو فی اللیل یبتغی وجه اللہ keeping up at night is seeking the pleasure of Allah Imam Baqir alayhi salam says there is no drop dearer to God than a tear shed in the middle of the night due to the fear of Allah the Prophet says in his will to Imam Ali alayhi salam alayka bi salat al-layl bi salat al-layl bi salat al-layl Upon you are the night prayers, the night prayers, the night prayers. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam says, Laysa min shi'atina man lam yusalli salat al-layl. One who does not offer his night prayers is not from us. Remember 8, 2, 1. How to offer these prayers? The time is from midnight to Fajr. The best time is before Fajr. And even better is to spread the 11 rak'at between the midnight and Fajr as this was the practice of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Eight rak'at, the night prayers. Salatul layl, nafilayya shab. Namaz Shab, like the morning prayers in sets of two times four. Two Raka'at, the Shafa prayers, like the morning prayers, with this difference that in the first Raka'at after Surah Al Hamd, you recite Surah Al Nas, and in the second Raka'at after Surah Al Hamd, you will recite Surah Al Falak. One Raka'at. Watr prayers. Recite after Surah Al Hamd, Surah Al Tawheed, one time. In the Qunut, pray for 40 Mu'mineen. As such, Allahumma ghfirli Hassan, for example. Allahumma ghfirli Muhammad, for example. Or you may say, Allahumma ghfirli my mother my father etc 70 times say astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayhi continue seven times say hadha maqam al-aaidhi bika min al-nawr which will follow with 300 times al-aaf 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 and then say رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَرْحَمْنِي وَتُبْ عَلَيَّ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Continue with the ruku. Continue with the sajdas. And after completing the one rak'at prayer, recite tasbih of Hazrat Zahra alayhi salam, which is 34 times Allahu Akbar, 33 times Alhamdulillah, and 33 times Subhanallah. Go to Sajda and repeat five times. Subbuhun Quddusun Rabbul Malaikati Wal Ruh. Sit and recite Ayatul Kursi. Once again in Sajda, repeat five times. Subbuhun Quddusun Rabbul Malaikati Wal Ruh. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam says, The night prayers is the light in the grave, a barrier between man and the hellfire, and the passport for the sirat and the keys of the heaven. Imam Askari alayhi salam says, The only right to seek the nearness and to meet God is the night prayers. Some of the effects of the night prayers in this world Tranquility, help, good character, forgiving of sins, good fragrance, easing of problems, shaitan and rage, pleasure of the Almighty Allah, a good end, removal of pain and afflictions, long life, enlightened home, enlightenment, attractive, enlightened and a beautiful face, acceptance of prayers, good eyesight, etc. 
If due to shortage of time and arrival of Fajr, you can still continue with the night prayers with the intention of Ada after your Fajr prayers if you had already started your night prayers. If the time was not enough for the 11 rakat, you can suffice with the Shafa and the Watar, the two and the one. And if the time was so little, then offering the Nafila of Fajr, which is just a two rakat prayer, is even better than the Shafa and the Watar. Remember 8, 2, 1. Wa subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillah.